Well, that's why I brought the ladder for you. Oh, man. Oh, you're not going to believe it. Good grief. I thought I could do this without my glasses on, but I'm not sure I can. <laughs> Grab the yoke there, Paul. Pull back. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, yeah. Did you use the Pipper Lou, Paul, or did you kind of use the nose of the airplane when you're dropping bombs? Um, some people, some Pretty much know, right out the window. Yeah, that's yeah. what a lot of pilots do. Yeah, because, you know, at dark at night, what the hell? The, about here, maybe. How did we meet? At uh, <laughs> England Air Force Base when we showed up for training. <laughs> And he, he got stuck with me. <laughs> well, that was later in Southeast Asia. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I flew with, uh, well, Neil Monette, who got killed, and then I got teamed up with uh, uh, Kenyon. And he left about, what, August or so of yeah, July, like August, and then yeah. Paul and I teamed up until they closed us out in November. Had some good times. So you flew August, September, October, and November together? How yeah. many missions did you, did you get in that time frame? Do you remember? I don't know. I had 147 overall. Yeah. What you had? And I had 155. So yeah, and I, um, probably a third of those were together, maybe. Yeah. Crazy. Is there any particular mission that sticks out in your mind that the two of you flew together? Yeah, one we're time. Unfortunate. I was. Uh, we were doing uh, going around because there wasn't anything moving there. It was up in the barrel roll, was it? Yeah, yeah. and uh, so going down and come back and around. Well, I was a bit on the stupid side because I just kept doing the same thing. Well, behind me was a gunner back there, and he sat there and he put it in there, and as I come off, whoosh. The, all the bullets are coming right over below the tip tank and that about far enough high not to hit us and it just I think there good god there must be 30 to 40 of these things coming right up your back end and I said what the hell all I'm doing is just get drop stuff and I said, but I think I will change the way I go <laughs> it was Another one of those things that learn you. Absolutely. Does it look like you remember it? I sure remember the armament panel. Mm-hmm. That was that was my baby, the armament panel. So what was the total time for you guys at NKP as Nimrods? Was it a year, a few months? A year, but they cut us short. They cut us short a m little over a month, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, a month and a half or so. November 11 was uh, our last mission, yeah, November the, 11, 69. The generals of Air Force, uh, generals of the bombers Mo and, and the F-4s, they said, well, those airplanes are too old. Get a hell of them out. We were the ones that got more yeah. trucks on a, one vehicle than we did. And it just, it was very nice. But it um, was very nice that it happened because when we took off out of NKP and going north, they uh, said there's a long camp, long number of of uh, the uh, my dad's absent-minded, and he gave it to me. <laughs> it uh, coming down the way, and they had the trucks there, and the lights were way in underneath, so they could just see a little bit out there, and we couldn't necessarily see too much but we could catch it down there and they had uh, the guy told me said well we've got 30 trucks coming down there on the other side of the water and I had to get the tips off then when I went in came down and the first one I got the first one and the came around the second one I got the last one you got so a couple locked in. got a couple more and then uh, trying to 
fire and whatnot at dark and it was pretty hard to get it at times. And then they um, they ran out, we ran out with that and came back and then the other guys went with it, doing, going in and they took them all out. And then when we um, landed and go up and shut the engine down to see if everything is right and then crank it up to see if it's working, taxied on down there and there was a fire truck there. We got down and got hosed with water. <laughs> they just, they were hosing all of us. <laughs> it's their last night. <laughs> oh, I see, last night. <laughs> and that was it. But, you know, it was neat. And then we went back to the hooch, and I don't know if we went to bed before noon or two. <laughs> we, were, we were just having a whole lot of stuff. And the uh, other thing was they had some lieutenant colonels that had cars that drove around a little bit. And for some reason or other, and it wasn't me that started it, but uh, when the guys with higher rank and they have a vehicle, they take a fire walk and shoot them down. And I, I came out there and he said, okay, go ahead. And I just sat there and pumped the air and just pumped the water and just... <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Schmoe. Oh. <laughs> no, Paul and I brought the first airplane yeah. back from the States. You were the, the first one back. Yeah. yeah. Also, you guys came all by the, yourselves. That's what the 650-gallon well, we, tank we, was. We followed a C-97. C-97 brought us across. Yeah, which we really pissed off the guys, but uh, that's their problem. And, they, and we left a little memento for uh, the people behind us. You see the red paint here? That's from a red spray can that we stenciled the uh, Nimrod symbols all across the Pacific. Show me that leg. There you go. <laughs> and this was in the um, Navy place. We came in there. And we... Uh, well, it wasn't just the Navy place. We, every place we stopped. Well, we, yeah, but it, we were the first ones out. Well, yeah. We, we, we followed the C-97 and... Uh, oh, and when we came out of... Uh, uh, oh, the Philippines? Where my, you talking about my parachute? It was a no, it was the um, other one out in north of there. Uh, and we took off and we we're going along and we we're watching this other plane and a crazy sitting there. He's going like this. Well, all the pins were coming out of but one of the parachute. Oh. Because this is where they sit. We we're going along. I said, "What the hell are you doing, crazy?" And he said, well, "Well, Paul, go tell him." I said, "Well, something's wrong back here." And Paul looked over and said, "Well, your parachute's about to come apart." Yeah. And the bottom one was the only one still hooked in. Well, you, you have that come loose, you're going to be some real problems. So we told the guys we had to turn around. We were about a, what, an hour and a half. Yeah. Out. And we, I told them we had to go back. Why? Well, crazy parachutes come apart. Well, I'm not going around, so I don't care. I am. Well, he had to come with us. And, oh, he was, he was so pissed. So but that night, was nice. <laughs> another night on, where was it, Wake Island or somewhere? I don't so know. We went back there, and they uh, had to take the chute out and clean it all out, and it took an another day. And then we went on. So we took off out of there, and then we were going to uh, the Navy place, and he said, well, you know, you guys got to go all the way from the, from, from uh, Hawaii to the, like, you can just, you don't have to go to the Navy place. And I said, yes, but I'm not going that way because it is a heck of a pain in the neck not to be able to get some of that stuff. And, you know, because this this guy, was, I don't know, he, I think he was in a rush to get home and get laid or something, but it, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, he was just so pissed. And so we uh, turned back and he just, but we took these cardboard, thin cardboards and put A26. We, we and, carved out a but symbol we, of the A26. We, we, we put it yeah. in a big one like this. And we uh, went and had, had a drink or two or 
already many. <laughs> and we go out and we've taken red paint and putting it all over the base. Oh. And the, the final thing was when we landed it, where was it? Yeah. Was it Travis or McClellan somewhere? We got first thing we did when we got out of the airplane was we ran over to the the lead ship and stenciled their A26 on the side of their airplane. That didn't make them too happy either. <laughs> and we uh, we used a lot of red paint. Red paint. And things were about this big. And the guys behind us got caught hell because of all the. Yeah. Red well, paint Tim, we'd left behind. Tim Black indicates that the group he was with did the same thing, and they were escorted off of uh, Maui. <laughs> I'm out off of Honolulu for that. Yeah. Oh, they uh, they didn't like they didn't like that at all. But that Navy guy, he just went berserk. <laughs> that that guy, he just he when they came in, he went to him and said. Any one of those putting one of them in, you're going to be in the slammer. <laughs> Why don't you just have a seat right there on the wing? Okay. Which side? Oh, I don't care. Well, being on the wing is, well, would not be strange for me because every, before every mission, I'd go out and see how many rivets were missing. Oh, yeah? On each wing, <laughs> yeah. And after a night of drinking, that was some kind, sometimes kind of a... A little tedious? Did you drink? A little bit. <laughs> How's this? This, bit, this is pretty nice. Do you think you could sit on the cowling? Sure. I think so. Well, I'm hell, thinking, he said he sits. I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll take you down to the prop, like you said. Yeah. And get him sit right there. Well, hell, he sits on the hub. Well, that's where he was. Well, well, that's, when, can, that's when we got enough people to lift me up there. I don't. Yeah. Well, now, if you want to try sitting on the hub, I can use the stand to put you there. It's up to you. Well, no, it's up to you. It's you sitting on I it. I can do it. All right. Well, let's walk down then. I think I can do it. 